We're leaving the cold behind and heading to an all-inclusive resort, but how do we figure out how to stay healthy so we aren't suffering after the trip? Stay tuned because I have my top seven tips to staying healthy at all-inclusive resorts, and yes, you can still have a great time. Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deborah from Journey to Wellness, where we work on eating healthy, moving well, and just living our best life. And right now, it is March break in Nova Scotia, Canada, and it is dreary, it is cloudy, and it's been snowing and we are just looking to get away. And of course, for a lot of Canadians, we like to head to those all-inclusive resorts. I actually just returned from an all-inclusive trip to Mexico where it was my goal to be as healthy as possible while still enjoying somebody else making meals for me, spending some time relaxing by the beach, and of course, spending some downtime with my family. So let's get into my top tips. So the first one is walking, and this is so incredibly easy to do at all-inclusive resorts, especially if you go mid-size, where it is big enough to get in loads and loads of steps, but it's not too big that you need shuttles or golf carts. For me this trip, one of my non-negotiables was walking every morning. I'm an early bird, I was the first one up, it was still kind of dark, and I would just walk. I would make sure that I had a good 30 minute walk-in in the morning, that way, if I didn't feel like doing anything else during the day, I didn't worry too much about it because I just knew that that workout was done. I was feeling good, I got a little bit of activity. I was able to reach about 15 to 20,000 steps at minimum every day during my trip, honestly, without even trying. So number two is participate in those organized activities. The great thing about all-inclusive resorts is they have some of the most amazing entertainment staff I have ever seen. The way they pump up the crowd and include everyone of all ages, it was so much fun to see and be a part of. There was water sports, aqua fit, dance classes, beach and pool volleyball, fitness and yoga classes, rock climbing, basketball, water parks with a surf pool, you name it, and you can find this at many resorts. And you probably just saw in these pictures, my kids were my models uh, because they just were involved in everything and it was so much fun to see. Number three is drink water. And I know sometimes people get a little nervous when they're going south about drinking water. Honestly, we have never had any problems with it. The resorts that we have stayed at have had filtered water and bottled water. So ask for extra water bottles in your room. Bring your own insulated water bottle to keep the water cold. Have water at meals. And something I'll mention again in the next point is to drink a bottle of water in between every alcoholic beverage. I promise you that will pay off in more ways than you think. And number four, as you're probably expecting, is to limit alcohol. For many people, all-inclusive resorts and free-flowing booze go hand in hand. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for having a few drinks and I don't begrudge anyone for letting loose and having a good time, within reason, of course. But please, it's really important that if you are trying to stay moderately healthy during your trip, alcohol is a big one. And it is possible to enjoy the all-inclusive nature of a resort without drinking weeks worth of calories. So as I mentioned in the last one, you wanna drink a bottle of water in between every alcoholic beverage. Not only A, will that slow your alcohol consumption down, but it will continue to hydrate you. Try to keep your mixes to low sugar, so we're talking water and club soda. Try to limit those really sugary drinks because those liquid calories will really add up. And one thing I recommend, and this has worked out really well for me, is try to limit some of your alcohol consumption in the afternoon. And I know sometimes that's tough because that's when it's warm and we're lying around by the pool or we're having a good time and the free flowing drinks. But what I have found is that for both myself and people I have traveled with, that when you drink a lot in the afternoon, it lowers your inhibitions and then you tend to overeat or choose really unhealthy foods later on. The next one is protein and produce, but of course a few treats are okay and I do encourage you to choose your treats wisely. Fill up on protein and produce first. Your chicken, steak, your seafood, your vegetables, your salad, and then having someone else honestly prepare food for me is a mother's dream. And there are an unbelievable amount of choices at most all-inclusive resorts, but you can choose your treats wisely. You don't have to eat everything just because it's there. Look at what you would like to have. What do you really want? What would you really like to have? And enjoy that guilt-free. Number six is going to bed. I know what it's like, we're at an all-inclusive resort, we wanna have fun, we wanna party, we wanna have a great time, but we need our sleep. And I promise you, to have a good morning where you're getting up, you're active, and you're having a lot of fun, 
you need to go to bed at a decent hour in order to do that. So don't be afraid to go to bed. If you're tired at nine o'clock, it is perfectly okay to go to bed at nine o'clock. So make sure that you're getting the rest that you need so that you can have an awesome time at your all-inclusive resort. And the last one is self-care. And this could mean things like sunscreen, spas, naps. All of these things are wonderful and helpful to make this the best trip that you can possibly have and to make things great for when you get home. Next week, I am gonna post another video about the things that you can do when you get back from a holiday to jump back into things really quickly. But for self-care, sunscreen, of course, you know if you've ever burned your body, how little you can actually do with burned skin. So please make sure you're wearing that sunscreen so that you can stay really active. And of course, napping is fantastic. Is there anything better than a nap on a lounger, feeling the breeze, hearing the ocean? It's absolutely enjoyable. So make sure you have at least one of those afternoon naps. No guilt, enjoy. And then of course, if you can afford it, check out those spas because treating yourself is always great. We stayed at the Barcelo Maya Palace in Mexico and they had a spa and as a part of our package, we had one hour per day in their hydrotherapy circuit, which is a lot of like hot cold and it was just a really nice treat. So massage, pedicures, manicures, facials, do something that's gonna really treat yourself and enjoy. I encourage you to try to remember that you can absolutely have a great time at a resort. You can relax, you can let loose a little bit, you can forget about work. I loved putting my laptop away, but that doesn't mean it has to be a free for all, booze fest, food fest. I know that sounds like a lot of fun, but it doesn't have to be that way. And I promise you at the end of that trip, if you have a little bit of self-control and you follow some of these steps, when you come back, you are gonna be so much happier and you're gonna be proud of yourself for doing so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications when new videos come out, especially that one next week where we're gonna talk about how to recuperate. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. Live your healthiest life, live your best life, and I will see you 